Hi, Kobe. How are you today? I'm good. Thank you for having me. Thank you for coming. So, tell us about Kobe Springer and She Builds the Brands. Yeah, well, She Builds Brands is a brand marketing agency. Um, and uh, we have our headquarters in London, as well as having offices in Singapore and New York. We are the authoritative voice of female branding. When companies want to speak to female consumers, they come to us, whether that's fashion, luxury, or lifestyle. So as an example, we've worked with clients like Rolls Royce uh, to launch the Rolls Royce Dawn. We did a live photo shoot in the Rolls Royce, yeah, in the Rolls Royce dealership, which was amazing. Um, we worked with brands like Aston Martin. We did a runway show during London Fashion Week in the Aston Martin uh, dealership around all the cars, which was super cool. Um, but we've also worked with some big celebrity brands. So people like Beyonce and L'Oreal. I was the one that did the campaign, the Because You're Worth It campaign between Beyonce and L'Oreal. Um, and yeah, I've been in the game since 1996. Wow. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. So you have worked with, just you mentioned that Beyonce, L'Oreal, Nike, yes, what? London Fashion Week to name but a few. But what are some of your highlighted projects? I think the project that's probably the most dear to my heart was how I started with Sean John clothing line, um, Puff Daddy, P Diddy, uh, <laughs> it was my boss, which was amazing. He was launching Sean John clothing line, which was his fashion line. Okay. And I was part of the team in 2001 when okay. he launched on Fifth Avenue in New York City. And I was a young intern yeah. uh, living in New York and yeah. it was my inroad to marketing to branding and what a beautiful way to do it to work underneath as my direct boss yeah. one of the biggest celebrity personalities in the world so for me that's one that's passionate uh, i think another one that's been really really cool recently has been working with an, a three sister mm -hmm. uh, brand called mimpakita okay. so they're three muslim sisters from um Southeast Asia and they wanted to launch in London and New York okay. and we did absolutely everything we looked at their product development we looked at their brand itself we revamped their website for them and then we did their photo shoot in Malaysia which was phenomenal we flew our creative team from London to Malaysia and then finally we launched them at London Fashion Week we got them in British Vogue on wow. the BBC nice. uh, we got them stocked in John Lewis so yeah that was an amazing project because Nobody felt that three Muslim girls could do so well in London with fashion, and we did it, which was amazing. Yeah. Okay, so um, why have you said yes to the Dubai Fashion Business Networking event? Why would I say no? <laughs> why would I say no? Um, I think that, you know, what Tablon is doing is amazing. I really like the idea of having the ecosystem of a business industry come together. And fashion is my heartbeat. And so everything from buyers to manufacturers to uh, fashion investors to PR agencies to creatives to merchandising um, to the digital fashion uh, arena to technology and fashion, they need a space to come together. Yeah, uh, and they need a space post pandemic to be able to do firstly knowledge exchange because we're all operating in this new normal. What does it look like? What does the future of fashion look like? So I think having a space where ideas can be exchanged, where new working practices can be exchanged is important. And then the, con the contacts, you know, the relationships. Um, if you are launching a new line, you need an investor. If you are um, looking to have a one way show, you need digital. If you're in digital and you're running tech, you might be looking at fashion as an opportunity, especially with virtual reality in the meta universe yeah. so I think the timing is perfect um, and in Dubai specifically there was so much talent here that I just can't wait to get my grubby hands all over it <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. so um, I would like to ask what's the future of fashion for you I think the future of fashion um, it's twofold I think it's omni channel I think particularly luxury fashion historically have been late to technology but you are seeing luxury fashion being quick off the mark with new technological advances yeah. uh, for example Balenciaga and the Fortnite yeah. uh, collaboration that was epic I don't know if you saw it but the billboard campaign where it looks like the character was coming out yeah, of the billboard yeah. phenomenal it's, it's phenomenal yeah. the fact that Balenciaga had it that you could buy virtual reality digital mm -hmm. clothing as well as then physical clothing i think that um the fashion industry is evolving yeah. and i think fashion and tech is going to have a nice collision 
And I think the future of fashion is about omni-channel approaches to consumers. And I also think co-creation. I think the role of the influencer, the micro-influencer, um, now the customer is so savvy, they're telling brands what they want. So yeah. co-creation would be really important. Yeah, okay. So now what can attendees expect from this networking event, Fashion Network? I think specifically with the uh, Dubai Fashion Business Network, attendees can really walk away with some new information about how to commercialize their fashion brand in this new normal, uh, especially post-pandemic, and they can expect the right contacts. Okay. And that's super important. You know, you can go to a networking event, but having the right people in the room that can actually propel your business, I think that's going to be uh, the first thing. I think the second thing is new ideas. Um, I'm looking forward to doing a keynote. I'm looking forward to the panel discussion. So new ideas so that people can actually make money post pandemic. Uh, I think that's going to be really important for them. All right. Thank you so much for coming. Thank here. you for having me. It's a pleasure. Thank and you, you look so fashionista, honey. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>